Hello everybody and welcome to your next tutorial. This is part two on how to to do the IPC assignment one. Okay, so the last the last tutorial might have uh, been a bit confusing, I guess. I don't know if this confused you, but I'm gonna be looking at it from a different angle now. So I'm gonna be we're gonna be getting the same result, but f uh, with a different method. Uh, so to do this away, we're gonna make a variable. We'll just call it temp variable. So everything's gonna be the same, but we're going to we're gonna remove the uh, point nine nine. Okay. So instead of uh, doing this stuff right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say temp variable is equal to this. Okay. And since our stu uh, since it's a float value, uh, then yeah, it's going to store it as a float. So if we do 364 divided by 35 and we get 10.4, then it's going to store 10.4 um, over here. After that calculation, then we're going to say sections is equal to temp variable. And after that, we're going to use an if statement, and and you guys should know what the if statement is. So we'll say that if sections not equal, so I'm not sure if we learned about not equals, uh, but we know that the exclamation mark means a not and the equals means whatever. So we're just going to say if sections is not equal to temp variable, then we say sections plus plus now we never learned this in class yet but plus plus means you increase it by one so you could either do plus plus you could either do plus equals one plus equals one is e is the same as saying sections is equal to sections plus one so same thing so you could use plus 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 equals one or plus one but let's look at what went on here okay so you guys are like okay what is going on okay so the temp variable is going to do our calculation. So we, we established that this value for temp variable is going to be equal to 10.4. Okay, so remember that we want to round everything up, right? We don't want to round things down. Because if we round things down, our calculations are all messed up, right? So anything that's a decimal value, we want to um, go up. So we know that if we make something a float value or anything, a decimal value equal to an integer value, it's going to round it down. So if we get 10.4 uh, here, we're going to say sections is equal to 10 variable. So sections is going to be equal to 10. Okay. So 10 variables t is 10.4, sections equal to 10. So then we have an if statement. We say that if sections is not equal to 10 variable, then we add 1 to sections. Now, that's what we do it. So for example, if we say if our input is equal to 350, temp variable is going to be equal to 10 and therefore even when we set it to this section is going to be equal to 10 as well so they are going to be equal so we know that the sections is correct we should leave it the way it is if the temp variable is not equal to the sections which means uh, that means we're going to want to round it up so whenever we cast it down using the integer type variable right uh, then and if it's not equal to our temp variable, then we knew, we know we need to round it up by just increasing the whole value by one, and it will give us a rounded up value. So same for the standard section, we have to say that uh, we we can just reuse our temp variable. Cause we're done with it. So we'll say temp variables equal to uh, students divided by sections, and we'll say standard section is equal to temp variable. And then we can use the same uh, use the same uh, if statement again. If it's not equal to temp variable, then we can say section. I mean, sorry, standard section plus equals one or plus plus, or we can say it's equal to standard section plus one. So I believe everything should remain the same. So let us build this. Now, um, in the last video, I I said that we needed a while loop or something, or you could use a loop in order to uh, in order to 
like if we input a value like 1996 we get the last section equals to one I don't want to give you the answer because if I if I give you the answer then you're not thinking to be a programmer you need to uh, think kind of outside the box I'm trying to think of a hint I can give you guys I can't really think of a hint though if you guys are really really struggling on how to do it then you guys can come to me or whatever come to me after class or whenever you see me you can do it and, I, and I'll kind of show you in person I guess but uh, after the assignments handed in I'll make a video to show my solution and what I did okay uh, so this is done building now so let's run this and let's see if we get the same result as before so we're gonna put 364 and we get the same result as before so if you test this code with uh, the other code on the website let's sorry let let's uh, try 141 I don't remember the result. I think it's um, let me see 141 yeah I believe that is the, the desired result that we're trying to get yeah so if you look we have number sections 5 standard section 29 last section 25 cost factor 124 okay and I believe this method right here although longer uh, is more precise than the other one so it really uh, goes on by what you want to do again I'm stating I like don't copy the code because you don't learn from that right you're not gonna learn from copying the code and it's not gonna be your code right uh, but I hope this is like a, a, a be a learning tool or like a stepping block or to give you some insight on what you could do now for the advanced users or whatever that have used say uh, Java or C++ or any other programming language before uh, but they just don't know how to do it in C++ I'm mean in C uh, we can include the math.h library and uh, instead of doing all this uh, all these stuff right here if we want to to um, cast to to round something up then we can use a seal command in the math.h we will call seal it requires a double right so these are floats um, but if you want if you're advanced then casting you would cast it to a double doing like that you don't have to cast one of them because the whole statement will become double after and you cast to a double and then it will whatever the number is it will round it up and if you ever want to round down then you'll put floor so seal for ceiling floor for the floor right so it's relatively easy whichever method you want to use right and uh, so yeah that that covers how to use a seal command and if uh, for students right if you don't want to use a seal command but uh, notice how we have to have a different uh, thing for students and for temp students if anything you could just make students an integer variable and whenever you're doing calculations you can just cast it to a float which means it would change the contents of students equal to float and I believe in the C language uh, I'm not sure if putting a capital F no no that's only if you use the integer value if you're using like an uh, I guess for insight for future tutorials or something if you were to say like 10 F capital F or something and read that as a floating point value or whatever right so for example if we put right here 35.0 if we change that and put a capital F there it should work if we put a capital F I'm not sure why I don't know why it's not working but anyways I guess we'll learn that in class or whatever but uh, that is that is essentially it for this two tutorial series i guess i know it's been long but i hope you learned something from it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and bye